them both. This is gold, 18 karat gold and platinum. This one was reading 1238 and it was a very loud signal because it was very shallow and that's a pound coin. Just here we've got a thoroughly awesome signal reading 1139 Yeah, 12.38 that way That's normally where big copper hits Sometimes silver if it's deep So I'm going to give this one a live dig It's deep, so that's a bonus when I'm looking for old things It's a little button. Well, I wouldn't have thought that was a button by the clarity and the strength of the signal that gave. It's down about seven or eight inches. Well, I'm kind of hoping that this one turns out to be a good find because I've got what I think is a coin ball there. It's reading 11.45 on the E-Track. In the same hole, big rusty lump of iron and also loads of coke as well. It picked up that target and ignored the other ones. So we might as well do a, a live coin ball opening. Ah, it's a modern two pence, but it picked it up, no problem. Very shallow target here, probably no more than three inches. Reading 12.31. Uh, and that looks like a King Edward, King Edward the Seventh. So that's very early 1900s and that's a half penny and the date on it is 1907 another nice find Aha. this one was reading 1230 but it was leaping around a little bit and here we appear to have a musket ball that's never been fired you can tell it's still got the nipple on the top Normally that would be filed off before it was fired to make it nice and round. That's a good find. Now here's the one that came out from right underneath this big tree root. And it's a threepenny bit. An extremely knackered one from George the Sixth. Oh, I can't even get a date on that. Might be 1947, I'm not sure. Not very good. This was a banging signal reading 1236. Quite a nice imprint there. Uh, looks like it's another hairpenny. Although it's pretty knackered. Yeah, pretty sure it's a hairpenny. It's like 1935, I think, so that'll be George the Fifth. Yes, George the Fifth, 1935 hairpenny. Now the main problem with having this machine set up the way I've got it is that a good signal can just about take your ears off, it's so loud. This is a signal reading 1236. And that doesn't sound very loud coming out of the machine, but when you've got it in the earphones, by God it's loud. There's nothing to be found on the top, so that is, yeah, at least a couple of inches under the ground. And because this is a good signal, and I've just dug a hairpenny from over here, I'm going to give this one a live dig. And the curse of the live dig strikes again. We've got a little bottle top. This was reading a mega noisy 12.36. That's on the E-Track, and by the looks of it, we've got a George the Fifth penny. It's quite grotty, so I don't think I'm going to get a date off that. Uh, 1913, I think. Yep, yeah, 1913. This one was reading 1246, and hopefully we've got another coin in here.
Yeah, we have got another coin, but it's a modern two pence. Needless to say, this one gave quite a good signal. And it looks like um, a knackered gas lamp, I think. Yeah. Like, I don't know what, I think you maybe call them a hurricane lamp or something. It would have glass on that side of it, perhaps. And a handle on the top, and you'd adjust the flame like that. If that was anywhere near decent, that would be quite a nice find, but in the state it's in, it's not really too spectacular. But at the same time, it's still pretty interesting. It looks almost like the top of a Dalek. Or a flying saucer with a death ray. Now this is exactly the sort of thing that loses your permissions. It's been a target dug here by somebody else and they've just left it in a total state. At least they've tried to cover it in I suppose but it's just a total shambles. And these are all over the place. I'm going to try and make it good and any other ones that I find I'm going to try and make them good as well but it's the sort of thing you don't like to see you know. This one was reading 12, oh, what was it, 12.42, and it was an absolutely massive banging signal. And that coin ball came from way down there, probably seven, eight inches. And it's an old Benny. That one's George V. Lovely imprint as well. Oh, God, it's in good condition. 1927. And this hole that I've just dug, and I'm going to put back stamp on that you'll never be able to tell I've been here that hole is about three feet away from that absolutely manky mess that somebody else has left so they obviously haven't checked around here very well that's what a hole should look like when you're finished the sides are all neat squashed in so that the soil keeps its moisture if you leave gaping gaps in all the way around it dries out grass dies off and that's when you end up with a mess it's a canny old depth for a little penny a good seven eight inches and that gave a pretty good signal certainly very diggable well it wasn't it wasn't a terrible hunt didn't find that much but I was out for probably around about two hours and I was doing areas where I hadn't really done before just to see if there was anything decent there turns out there wasn't really but finding an unfired musket ball was quite nice and there was I think two or three pre-decimal coins maybe a few more there was one, two, three, either three or four pound coins as well, so it wasn't a totally wasted trip. Just nice to get out, relax, unwind for a few hours. It does you the world of good. Now when I get home, I find that YouTube addressed to me, looking reasonably official. Pull it open. YouTube Video Awards 2014 Pond Guru I'm thinking what could this be? Have I finally been recognized for my outstanding contribution towards video making? And I open it up and it's got that inside. You're a winner. Best wishes from Lisa and Andy. First prize award is a modern half penny, my nemesis. Now Andy is the fella who is selling the wireless headphones and he also makes them crack and pro pointer covers. So I think this is just a thank you for, for me making that video. And if he thinks this is funny, it is. <laughs> Ta very much Andy, that's marvellous. I honestly thought I'd won an award. <laughs> I couldn't think what the hell it was for, but I was thinking, I've won an award. Marvellous. But that's the shiniest half pence I've ever seen. Thanks very much. Very shallow target here, reading 12.35. No, tell a lie. It wasn't 12.35 at all. 12.35.